everyone and welcome back to Craft Crate and Bake. I hope you all are having an amazingly wonderful day and if not, I hope my videos can make your day a little bit brighter. Today we are going to be relating the best apps for horse crazy girls like myself because I'm horse crazy girl. I love horses so much and I would love to spread the amazingness of horses around the world as much as I can because they're fantastic creatures. I wish I could afford one, but I cannot and I don't have the property for it. I mean, I do, but it would never happen. Um, so yeah, I love horses and it's driven me to the point of craziness. So yeah, um, today we are going to be reviewing the best apps for horse crazy girls or guys. So without further ado, don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, and click that notification bell so you don't miss another video. Also, when it pops up, go ahead and click all if you'd like to get notifications from me whenever I post a new video, or you can click personal if you only want to get some, but if you click personal, you'll only get notifications sometimes. So yeah. Um, also comment down below any ideas you have for my future videos and share this video with any horsey friends in your life. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. Alright, first off we are going to start with the horse company. As you can see, I have an entire tab just for horses. <laughs> I'm horse crazy. so. We have the horse company here and this is a great app for those obviously who already have horses or dogs they um uh, detail for dogs horse lovers and all of that they do give gift cards if you would like to spoil your family members just a little bit on their birthday or christmas and they have many products for pretty much everything you can also book your riding lessons a horse a vet session, a therapy session, a farrier, or, you know, you can sign up. Um, obviously this is my account. I haven't set one up because I don't have a horse. And then you can shop by diagram on here, which I think is so cool that you can like do that. You can select the entire horse if you want to search all of it, or you can select the saddle if you want to select the search through saddles and girths. You also, if the diagram is acting up or you can't get it to work, you can go to list and just search that way. I personally love their selection of affordable ear bonnets just because I love me some cute ear bonnets, especially these ones. And obviously it is in a different currency, but if you need to convert it to your currency, just obviously look it up. It's super easy, it took me like... 13 seconds probably <laughs> random number but yeah all right so that is the horse company next up we are going to be doing Harry Hall one club this app you can communicate with your stable and other people who ride horses as well this is obviously the social media page kind of thing for horses anyone who loves horses they're gonna be on here and it's incredible um, you can track your ride, so you can track how far you go. I'm just gonna like, z z z yeah, zoom in on that so you can't really see where I live. But you can track your ride. Um, you can do a live ride or a safe ride. Um, safe ride, you do have to pay for, um, but it lets your parents know if you've fallen, if you get hurt, um, anything like that and that way they know if you need help or not which is really cool so yeah I definitely love this feature but obviously I can't use it because I don't have a horse unfortunately so you can find friends you can create profiles for your horses which I think is pretty cool this is just my dream horse um previous my dream horse's name is Zipper it would preferably be a gray Appaloosa if I can but you know I'm not going to be too picky. I'll take any horse. <laughs> and then you can set up your profile, find your friends, you can go to your stables, um, you can add events, you can find service providers such as vets, farriers, um, obviously you can't find them here but this is where they would be scheduled and then you can come here to see all your horses once again. So that is Harry Hall um, One Club. It's pretty cool. I definitely appreciate the amount of horse users there are on this app. Um, 
so yeah I, and they also have shopping and stuff they have subscriptions they have like the harry hall shop they have blankets and they do have reviews unlike the last app which doesn't show you reviews i meant to tell you all that um but they don't have reviews on their last um the last app we saw the um, horse company so they also have cute coupons which are nice but obviously this is again in a different currency than what i'm used to i'm used to the american dollar and here it is in um pounds so obviously if you need to figure that out um just look it up really quick it's super easy unfortunately it's not an option to like switch the oh that's my mother <laughs> it's not an option to uh switch the currency so that's yeah So that was all for the um, horsey apps for people who have horses. Um, yeah, so now we're going to move on to the horses apps, horsey apps for everyone. Those who dream to have horses, those who have horses, anyone who loves horses can get these apps. So I'm going to start out with a horse. Um, my horse, you get to raise and train your very own horse, um, train and compete in your competitions. There are many breeds and farms available, along with amazing realistic riding equipment that I love. It makes me feel very submerged in their world. Um, you get messages from people, and people, other people can visit your stables. You get a free chest every day that gives you a free item. Um, today I got cinnamon, apparently. <laughs> um, So in here you have a book where you can um, collect things, you get points for everything you do. I'm using the so I think it's about seven. But you can start um, ideas, I guess, items, um, and you can raise your horse that way. There are fun games such as Cat and Cat, which I seriously enjoy so much. have the treating option where you can give your horse any treats you want. I personally have saved up a couple treats from the chest you saw at the beginning of this opening and you can pet your horse here and get out their treats. Um, I'm trying to remember which ones I opened this one. Get out their treats, it gives them energy and love. Next you have grooming where you just kind of get all the mud off. Guys, sorry. Um, you have grooming where you just kind of get all the mud off your horse, kind of just scrape it off. And you earn, um, you earn XP. I don't know what that stands for. You earn XP. Um, and you earn But apparently, I'm going to do that. You can also create your own feed. Um, you can do basic feed, alfalfa So you can also compete. We have the I'm working on the UK Open Championship right now. Um, I am ready to compete in this competition. I'm just saving up energy for me and my horse, so we'll be ready. But when you're training for a competition, you first have to do a practice or a tr a training. So you can either pay to train and then you won't see the horse actually doing it, or you can train yourself and you get to kind of do it yourself. Um, for this, you just let the horse run into the middle of the blue section on the bottom and you tap the button once they're there. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I tried tapping, but it didn't work. 
Maybe I didn't tap hard enough. There we go. And there's my sad knocked over barrel because I cannot touch a finger to the screen. So anyways, you start working on these. It takes up your energy, but it's really fun. Um, so yeah, and then you can also buy tack, um, which I love. You can buy very realistic tack. You can buy clothes for yourself. So many things. So yeah, and you can also get starter kits, which always have sales going on. And I love this unicorn one. It's hilarious. She's in like a princessy, I don't know, like for underlayer and breeches, but they're princessy. So that's funny. And then pink with pink, pink tack with the white unicorn to get some sweet treats as well. But it's eight dollars, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> Alright, so I think that is it for this app. We will now move on to... What do we want to move on to? Let's do show jumping. Show jumping I like because this is like my um, event. If I were to own a horse, this would be the event that I trained in. That and trail rides, but I would definitely be an English rider. So we're going to play. And in this app, I love it so much that I've actually bought another horse as well. This I named him Zipper, not you, you. I named him Zipper because he is my dream horse. I love that name and the coloring so much. So this is Zipper. On this app, you can pet your horse, you can care for it. available as well but this one was my favorite so yeah let's go on to the next one for the next one we have horses um star stable horses this app i would recommend if you guys obviously have star stable star stable i'd highly recommend it is a paid app but it is so much fun um i'm not showing it in this app just because the 
things I'm showing in this app are free apps, or in this um, video are free apps, but yeah. So this video I enjoy so much, you basically get to raise and name your horse, and then once it is a full, or you get to raise and name a full, and then once it is an adult, you get to um, upload it into your actual game. So basically to advance, all you have to do is um, you earn enough points. We're gonna watch him eat for a sec because it's so cute. So what you do is you have a certain amount of points up here and you wanna get rid of all of the stars that are over these icons. So you perform the tasks. This is getting him used to being put into a saddle blanket and it's super easy, super fun, just kind of like a fun way to get your horse into your app and then if you click on the little horse icon in the bottom, it offers to take you to Star Stables online, which I would, but obviously I cannot because I am not on a PC or Mac. So yeah, that's pretty much it for um, Star Stable Horses. I just like it because you can upload your own horses to Star Stable, so that's pretty cool. Alright, next up we have Horse Academy, and I have had this app before, but I re-downloaded it just so I could start from the beginning with you guys, just show you kind of how it works. Um, we're going to start a new account. Um, I like Black Appy. Continue. Uh, connect with Game Center. Uh, <laughs> okay. Connection to server made. That's great. So I'm guessing this is going to be my horse that was over in the little corner there. So, mm, okay, your name must be between 3 and 32 characters long. Okay, so we are going to go craft, create, oh goodness, and bake. So that name is Vlad. Okay, so this is our horse. His name is Hermes, and he is a black appy, or is that his name? I don't know, I can't tell. Um, he is a gelding, from the looks of it. Oh, okay. So, you can feed them if you would like to. Oh, goodness, I'm struggling. In this, you can feed them free hay, you can track their health, their energy, and you can race them. Um, if they are a stud, then you can charge for that. In this app, you also get to... Um... Okay, so I'm just going to explain it to you guys basically because obviously I can't unlock all the features on the first level, but this is a real-time game that allows you to compete with other players in competitions and raise your horse to join events such as barrel racing, racing, show jumping, training, and more. You can also breed horses with a breed selection of 400 and even come out with mystical breeds like unicorns, which is pretty cool. They also have dragon horses, I've heard, which would be insane to get. This is an amazing app for everyone and ev anyone and everyone horse crazy, even if you don't have a horse of your own because it's so submersive. It allows you to just kind of feel like you do have a horse. So I like that a lot. You can view all of your stuff as if they were rooms, like the tack room. Um, you can get different tack and stuff based on how many points you've earned during the race. So yeah, that's a great app for any of you who want to be submersed in um, the horse world. So next we're going to go to Rival Stars. And Rival Stars is a racing game, which isn't my cup of tea, but you know, if it is yours, then go you, because racing is scary to me, because I do not like running that fast on a horse. I prefer show jumping. <laughs> This is incredible. Oh.
that's so cool you guys so it just basically like submerged you in a historical thing but um This is so submersive, and the animations are so incredible. This is so cool. So I would highly recommend for a submersive experience for this app. It's pretty cool. Oh, please don't take a sad turn. Oh. Oh my. Wow, y'all, so this is like insane how submersive this is. I was not expecting this. I was recommended this app by another one of my horsey friends. I found the reviews. They were amazing, and so I wanted to show you. But this is insane, the amount of submersiveness that is, goes in this app. And this is a free app. So I'm just going to tell you all a little bit about it. I'm not going to go through all of the um, stories at the beginning and stuff. I just wanted you all to see how incredible that was. So in this app, you can care for and raise your own racing horses, race, um, racing and on, oh my goodness, I can't talk today. Racing on tracks inspired by the real famous ones around the world, such as the Kentucky Derby, the track, um, I forget what it's called, but that that track. <laughs> you can become any role such as a jockey, a breeder, a trainer, a manager, etc. You can decide your investments, who you hire, and when you upgrade your facilities. And of course, you get to race, which is just incredible. And this is just an incredible, like, submersive experience. You can choose who you look like, um, you can choose your name, all of that cool stuff. I'm going to say Hannah because that's easier than Craft Great and Vague. Um, so, save. I can choose my silk color, my helmet, all of that cool stuff. We get to go to the stables. Yeah, I would highly recommend this above all of the other games, even if you're not into racing because it's just so submersive. So yeah, next up we are going to go on to Horse Hotel. Ugh, I will not allow because my mind will be lost if I get too many notifications. Okay, so in this game, you just kind of take care of horses in a hotel setting. Um, if you guys have any ha and ever had um, some of these like hotel games, then they're super fun. You get to look after each of the horses by doing vets, grooming, um, all of those fun things. You get missions. Um, you board horses, basically, is what it is. So you take care of them as well as you can for the owner. The owner obviously appreciates it. And then they go on their merry way. When jumping is important to hit the jump at the right moment. Tap the middle button when the outer circle touches it. Alrighty, you've got this. That was fun! Okay, so that was super easy. It's just a way to get the horse exercise and stuff. I did great. Now you can groom the horse. Um, you can groom the horse. You can pet it. You can treat it. You can take it to the vet if need be. I like the grooming on this one because it's so realistic. You have to go through like the different brushes. Face brush, the curry comb, the um, mane and tail brush, which is the little like wiry looking thing that I'm using right now. So I like that it's a little bit more realistic. Now we're just gonna pet the horse, makes it really happy. Oh, I wish horses actually glowed when you pet them. That'd be so cool. <laughs> 
All right. So apparently our guest has had enough for the day, so we're gonna bring it to the stables. Um, these are our stables. Here you give them food, water, you clean up after the stalls, um, mucking them out and things like that. Obviously, I'm not gonna bore you all, but I'm just gonna show you like how you give them food and stuff. It's pretty cool. And then water, you just pump it like a well. You just tap it continuously as it pumps. Oh, you hold it down. <laughs> My bad. And then you muck out the stalls. Well, that was pretty cool. I wish mucking out stalls was that easy. <laughs> I'm just swiping my finger across the screen and it is placing all the new hay down, so that's pretty cool. Alrighty, so that is, all, that is all for the horse hotel, just a kind of a little snippet, sorry, it was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. So next we're going to go on to horse paradise. <clears throat> I love the uh, unicorns that are in the beginning of these, they're so cute. Um, no, sorry. <laughs> So in this app, you're kind of like a wild horse and you're kind of creating your own story for yourself. A lot of like um, the Forging Empire uh, games, but for horses, which I really like. Um, I'm not going to show too much of it, but you can like, um, if I click on my horse, you can choose like different things it does. Like that, you can click on these in the bottom corner there are these little buttons in the bottom um, right hand corner sorry y'all can't see my finger you can make it lay down um, yeah super cute and then you have quests of course you have to have the quests to keep the game more interesting you have fields here where you farm and you get to meet other real-time players so yeah that's pretty cool um, and if you have a horse that can fly obviously you can fly you get to feed them once you've bought food and you can move them around which is cute so yeah i like this game it's very like it very forge of empires esque i guess like it reminds me a lot of forge of empires or something like that but for horse lovers so yeah would recommend and finally just to leave on a simple note we have horse wallpapers and these are just super cute horsey wallpapers that you can get if you are so obsessed that you want them on your home screen, which I would not blame you for. These are some really cute high pixel like wallpapers. They just have a nice selection and yeah, there's nope. No, thank you. So yeah, that was just our last simple note. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video today and I'll see you next time on Crap Create and Bake. Thanks. Bye.